Okay, so let's get straight to it then. Um, you people in Washington State, really, nobody's got a camera? Really? Nobody's got a camera, nobody's got a video camera, nobody can document this other than the mainstream media, who then tells you a story, right? The mainstream media story is, we haven't counted all the votes yet, and the thrust of this story, because we got a report on the fact that it was a clusterfuck here, and that many people were turned away, so we're going to report on this, but Romney won, and it's a dogfight for second place. That's the, that's the, doesn't matter that thousands of you were turned away here, and a hundred, few hundred there, and a few, pretty soon, you, you know, it starts adding up, but the main story is that Ron Paul took second place, Romney won, don't worry, Romney won, Romney won, did you understand, Romney won, and suddenly the, the Republicans can't put on a caucus that isn't a clusterfuck in any state in the union, really, Nevada, and Iowa, and, uh, Maine and Arizona and name it just keep going on right oh we weren't we couldn't accommodate all these people oh we weren't expecting so many people oh we didn't know oh it's been oh it's not our fault oh we're not trying to turn away Ron Paul voters or anything and see Ron Paul people are starting to wake up don't wear a Ron Paul bumper sticker on your hat don't wear a lapel pin don't wear a Ron Paul t-shirt this is why this is how dark it is this is why you don't have to tell people who you vote for and this is why the vote is supposed to be secret. Because now, if you, they don't know you're a Ron Paul supporter, they won't try and turn you away. And if they don't know who you voted for and you want to hang around and become a delegate, um, you know, they can't tell whether you're a Ron Paul supporter or not. They call them stealth supporters. Because Ron Paul people are usually very vocal about it. But see how far, how far we've fallen? See how dark it is, folks? So you need to go down to the polling place and with a camera... And not let people know who you're voting for. It's your right. And there's a great one where uh, they are interviewing people and in, uh, coming out of the polling place. I've got the link there. Um, and they ask them about NDAA, and nobody knew about NDAA except for, you know, the Ron Paul guy. <laughs> but all these other guys have never heard of it. That's how great the mainstream media is. And see, there's good news. They inked out that part where, you know, indefinite detention part, the part that everybody's all upset about, they inked that out. Ron, Ron, you know, Obama's like, okay, we'll take it out. Um, but understand that if he can take it out that easily, can he put it back in just as easily? Do you understand? So great, right? It's a, it's a ferric victory because the whole law needs to come down. But no, they took that one provision out, but they can put that provision back in just as easily. Do you understand? Okay. Um, you birth control, abortion, abortion, birth control, gay marriage, birth control, abortion. U.S. Congress passes authoritarian anti-protest law... Uh, this is H.R. 347. The, the, the socialist website, World Socialist website, has an article about it. Mainstream media? Not so much. Birth control, abortion, gay marriage. Um, how about uh, this massive copyright storm is brewing? iTunes is involved. Take a look at that. Now, try to understand that these guys know, the elite know, that one song can change the world. Really, one song. They try to make it like it's about money and it's about illegal downloading and so forth. But what it is is about control. Because if you write the one song that can change the world, they want to make sure nobody hears it. So it's about control. It's not so much about the money. But this is a great, you know, showing that you know people should the copyright thing is copy wrong. Simple. Uh, hackers elect Futurama's Bender to the Washington, D.C. school board. That story's finally making its way around. They put Bender in. They put Bender Bending Rodriguez in, and he won. There's no problem with the vote, though. Those machines are good. Don't worry about it. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Mainstream media story is that everything's fine. We don't count all the votes. Romney's won. We don't count. We don't turn away hundreds of people. Everything's fine. You vote on voting machines, and Romney wins when everybody's like, wait a minute, everybody I know liked Ron Paul. It's fine. Everything's fine. Right? Pay no attention. This is not the droid you're looking for. Bender is not the droid you're looking for. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, that's funny. Um, another good piece of news. Unconstitutional. Illinois judge rules over audio recordings in police officer's case. Look at that. But, I mean, it's, it's redundant because they already ruled that it was legal to film cops. And the cops that try to, you know, hide behind whatever law they can make up, you know, whether it's, you know, wiretapping, illegal wire, whatever it is, um, no. The watchers have a right to be, you know, or wait a minute, the watch ease have a right to be watchers, right? Who watches the watchers? We do. How do we do that? When you are performing public functions and public duty, that is public knowledge and filming it, First Amendment right, again. Um, 
my goodness, that should just be so plain as day, simple, cut and dry, that it shouldn't take a second in court. Um, and see, the pushback is coming. People are starting to realize, wait a minute. And see, it's, things are getting better. Don't make no mistake, things are getting better. But you gotta, there's gotta be act upness. There's gotta be truthiness. There's gotta be people that are not cowed and willing to stand up and say something. There, you gotta be willing to file a complaint. You gotta be willing to say, hey, that's fraud, and prosecute it. You can't just look the other way. You can't just be PC. And, you know, a lot of women I know, you need to get your brain out of your vagina and start taking a look at the bigger issues. Is birth control and gay marriage and, and abortion uh, important? Absolutely it is. But how do you pay for that abortion? You pay with Federal Reserve notes. Why do, why do the poor need the government assistance to pay, to pay for an abortion in the first damn place? Because only the wealthy can afford the things because the money's no good. Because the central bank, because the central bank has printed so damn much money that the money is no good. We go to war, they make billions, they print trillions now. And what happens? Well, every other dollar is worth less until finally the dollar is worthless. And people are saying, well, Ron Paul was wrong. The dollar has not hyperinflated yet. And it's not a dollar, it's a Federal Reserve note, damn it. Now, you know, why can't a dentist pay for, you know, you can't pay with a $20 bill to get anything from a dentist anymore. <laughs> you can't get your teeth cleaned, right? I don't think, you know, you can't get anything. Why? Because a $20 bill is worth nothing anymore. There was a time back in 1914, 15, 16, 17, when 20 bucks was a, 20, 10 bucks was a lot of money. I remember reading you know, stories written around that time when the guy had a $10 bill in a park in his pocket and he felt rich. Now, a $100 bill and you still probably can't get your teeth cleaned at a dentist. Right? I went to a party yesterday where there were all kinds of Ron Paul people there that were just, you know, amazed that I was a Ron Paul. And that people were quiet about it. Like, they don't want to talk politics at a polite party, right? And then, you know, a guy that looks like me, I must be an Obama supporter, so they don't want to talk about Ron... And then they were just amazed that, yeah, it's Ron Paul. But then people didn't even know about, you know, the caucus on the 13th. Go vote in the caucus. Got at least four more people that are going to show up on the 13th. They didn't know they were supposed to show up on the 13th and vote for Ron Paul. Because they're Ron Paul supporters, and you know what? In Hawaii, all the Ron Paul supporters used to be Democrats. Pretty much. You know, the the so-called blue Democrat. Um, anyway, the the... The Ron Paul people, you guys gotta, you guys gotta get your act together, get the poll watching done. Like I said, all the people that the people that came from the Ron Paul campaign to Maui made it clear that we need poll watchers, and they've been instructed. The word has come down that we need people to watch those polls. Where the hell were you in Washington State? Where were the poll watchers there? Where was a person with a camera in Washington State? That camera that worked. How about a video camera? Where you could, you know, upload. This, are you kidding? All these Ron Paul supporters, does none of you own an iPhone or any other kind of droid or any kind of other phone that has a camera in it that takes pictures and video that you can post on the internet? Really? I mean, it's just ridiculous. Guys, come on. <sighs> okay. Like I guess I'm feeling a little saucy. And then, like, uh, these other guys. Okay, so we have, uh, where is that? Uh, where... Our, our buddy uh, <laughs> Biden is basically telling the, the Latin American con countries that want to, you know, change the drug war and are trying to point out the fact that, you know, the prohibition, prohibition still doesn't work and these freaking cartels have become more powerful than their governments, which is what our government wants, believe it or not. Um, but no, no, we're not changing it. Nope. Obama administration, nope. And then I have these Obama apologists that try to say that, oh, uh, it's because of treaties. So the man can break all kinds of other treaties, and he can bomb Libya without any authority whatsoever from anybody, didn't even consult Congress. At least Bush consulted Congress when they went in illegally into Iraq, right? At least he made a consultation with Congress and said, hey, I want a declaration to use force, right? Obama, no such thing. And then we got this thing with Iran going on. Do you understand that that could turn into World War III and you guys are dicking around with abortion and, 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 and birth control? which nobody can afford anyway because the money's no good, so that the main issue, what's the main issue, is the Federal Reserve. War again, how are we going to prosecute this war? Well, because the central bankers will fund it with unlimited printing. Trillions of dollars, we just print the money up. And when they print the money up, all the other money becomes worth less. And soon, it will be worthless. But every time we pay for these wars, every time we do these ridiculous things, all the money, everybody suffers, to the point where now we can't afford just normal stuff. Like I said, 50 bucks, I bought a few steaks to a party. Used to be 50 bucks, would buy a quarter of a cow. We used to go in, four of us would go in, 50, 50, 50, 200 bucks off the hoof. 
right? Slaughter a cow and sp and split it up between four people for fifty bucks each. I know that was a long time ago, but I remember it clearly. Now fifty bucks, you ain't getting a quarter of a cow for fifty bucks. You get a few steaks, even if you go direct to the farmer. Uh, did you notice Ron, Ron Paul was actually pretty happy uh, in that caucus speech that got that linked? Because it's about the delegates. It's about the delegates. People are saying, oh, if he doesn't win one, he can't, right? Those beauty contests, it doesn't matter. It's about the delegates. And not a damn delegate has been uh, assigned yet. I mean, uh, we know there's quite a few delegates that are for Ron Paul, but officially, I don't think even one has been assigned. And again, Santorum and Gingrich aren't, can't, they've got, they have no access to 536 or 565, I can't remember now, we don't, we're, you know, the delegate counts, over 500, how's that? Over 500 delegates they don't even have access to because they can't get on the damn ballot. It's going to be very interesting to see how they try to rig the votes in those states when it's just Ron Paul and Romney. Uh, bring a camera, by the way, watch the polls. Again, don't let the stuff that you can't do stop you from doing the stuff that you can do. Just get out there and inform people what's going on, because what's going on is vote fraud. The right? story about Bender should be absolutely clear. Um, but there's, you know, there's good news and there's bad news. 347 is, is again, an, is, is bad news. People need to know about this. Why doesn't the mainstream media uh, make it clear to people that, hey, your rights are being eroded more rapidly than ever now? And see, what, they, what they're afraid of, what they're absolutely afraid of, is that the uh, Occupy Wall Street people, the Tea Party, and the uh, you know Campaign for Liberty people will all get together. If the people unite, oh, how screwed are they? So they do everything they can to keep you divided. Hey, Republican. Hey, Democrat. Hey, these are Obama guys. Hey, these are hippies, and you guys are... right. And then they try to paint the... I've said over and over again, they always try to paint the enemy like they're trolls, like they're old, ugly crones, or, you know, inbred, you know, fat farmers, or whatever. They're, you know, they try to make it seem, but... The Ron Paul girls that I've seen are well-read, intelligent, above-average IQ. Uh, did I mention well-read? The people that came to Maui, those two girls, they were beautiful and intelligent and well-read and, you know, understood the issues. And that's what it is. I see in the Ron Paul campaign, uh, overwhelmingly, it's people who read. It's people who understand what's going on. They're not ignorant, you know, inbred, farmer, uh, low, you know, salt-of-the-earth, racist, backward, white folk. It's people who can read. And it's the same thing in Iran. They want to try to make it like these evil Iranians, right? Look at all the beautiful women in Iran that aren't in burqas and aren't, you know? Right? Look at all those beautiful, beautiful women and children. How many hundreds of thousands died? Hundreds of thousands of just children in Iraq. Do you want the same thing to happen to those people in Iran? Of course you don't. See, the mainstream media, they're not telling you that people don't want war. They're beating the drums of war constantly, that, you know, the Israelis are telling you that they want war. The government wants war. 80, 19, I think only 19% of, of Israelis in some of these polls are, you know, wanting a unilateral strike. The other unilateral strike. The other 81% are, no, right? In, in the United States, no, we don't want war. Iranians, no, we don't want war. Nobody wants the war. So if nobody wants the war, why is there going to be war? Well, because they make billions of dollars on war. And making billions and billions, and now up probably in the trillions of dollars, they, you know, they didn't make enough in Iraq. They want more. They always want more. They want the banks. They want the central bank in Iraq. There will, looks like there's, unless Ron Paul gets in there, there will be war. You know why? Because Iran just said that they're going to take gold for oil. Boom. Enemy number one. It's not about the oil. It's about dollar hegemony. It's always been that case. So now they've said that we're going to deal in gold. That tells me there will be war. The bankers will have war if they can get away with it. Unless we put a stop to it. You and me put a stop to it. Now, how do we prosecute these wars? Again, because of the Federal Reserve being able to print money. The main issue is not birth control. The main issue is not that you can't afford because the money's no good anyway. The main issue is not abortions that you can't afford because the money's no good. The main issue is not about gay marriage, which you can still afford because the wedding license is cheap. But, you know, the main issue is the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve note. And people need to wake up to this fact. The fact that the Ron Paul campaign has identified the fact that, you know, the Federal Reserve isn't on the minds of the common man, of the average person. People need to wake up and start educating people about the Federal Reserve. It's a private company that loans our money to us at interest. Just go that far. Here, go do some more research. And then you can see the link there where, you know, people are doing their research. Ron Paul has more hits and more Google searches than all the other guys combined. That should tell you something. The guy's on fire, wildly popular. His, his, his 
ideas are wildly, wildly popular. They can't stop the idea. They can't stop an idea whose time has come. And no matter what, win or lose, this game's not over. The fight's not over. We st if he wins, we got more work to do. If he loses, we got more work to do. You don't get your country back by going to vote every two years. Simple as that. Get out there, vote for Ron Paul, let people know what's going on. Ron Paul 2012, thanks for your support. Crew on Ramon's House of Mad, link down there. Check out my links, use them to their best effect.